Information about the use of compounded calcium chloride for non-surgical castration of dogs and cats and even large animals was first published in the U.S. in the 1970s. Look for more information about calcium chloride on the web. Calcium chloride may be a great choice if you want the effects of reducing testosterone, including reduction in libido and roaming, while options for surgeries are limited, including in remote area services. Our formulation is 20 grams of calcium chloride brought to a total volume of 100 milliliters in pharmaceutical grade ethyl alcohol. The supplies include calcium chloride in ethyl alcohol, either prepared by an accredited compounder or mixed by the veterinarian. You will need an accurate caliper, Luralock 1 milliliter and 3 milliliter syringes and separate 23 gauge needles in 1 inch and 1 and 1 half inch lengths, chlorhexidine solution, gauze, drugs for sedation, and gloves if desired. The dog or cat is mildly sedated before calcium chloride is injected. This is important as the animal must be immobile during the injections. An abscess may result if the animal moves, causing calcium chloride to be injected into the scrotum instead of into the testicle. If dirt or feces are present, clean only with mild soap and water. No harsh chemicals or cleansers. To avoid irritation, do not shave the scrotum. Next, each testicle is measured with the caliper in order to determine the correct dose. The measurement is noted for use in a minute. After measuring the testicles, wipe the scrotum once with chlorhexidine solution mixed according to the manufacturer's instructions, generally one ounce to one gallon of water or 30 milliliters to 3.5 liters of water. The dosage will be determined in part by the feel of the testicle during the injection, so the chart shows a range from minimum to maximum. Make sure to use the correct length of needle so that the end of the needle will reach the center of the testicle. Place a new 23 gauge needle on each syringe. We use this size needle as a smaller needle may bend when entering the epididymis. After determining the correct dose for each testicle, remove the needles from two sterile syringes and place a fresh needle into the calcium chloride. Pull the maximum correct dose out of the bottle, allowing for waste. Also, pull 0.2 milliliter extra into each syringe as 1 in 10 dogs will require more than the recommended dose. Replace the original sterile needle onto the syringe and repeat the process for the second syringe. You will end up with two syringes, each with the correct dose for one testicle and each with a sterile needle. Discard any needle that has been in the calcium chloride as there may be residue on the outside, something which can cause an abscess. Alternatively, calcium chloride may be purchased in sterile stopper top bottles containing 4 grams of pharmaceutical grade calcium chloride to which 20 milliliters of pharmaceutical grade ethyl alcohol is added by the veterinarian. Remove the cap from the bottle and insert a sterile needle into the bottle to release air as the alcohol is added. Draw 20 milliliters of pharmaceutical grade ethyl alcohol into a sterile syringe. Inject that alcohol into the bottle of calcium chloride. Immediately discard this needle as it will have alcohol on the outside surface. Gently agitate the mixture and allow it to set for a minute or two. Using a sterile syringe with no needle, draw the maximum correct dose of calcium chloride mixture from the bottle through the needle that was originally inserted. After drawing up the correct amount of calcium chloride mixture for the first testicle, place a new sterile needle onto that syringe and repeat the process. You will end up with two syringes, each with the correct amount of calcium chloride mixture for one testicle and each with a sterile needle attached to it. Inject each testicle from the caudal end going through the tail of the epididymis. Insert the needle through the tail of the epididymis straight to the center and along the long axis of the testicle. Do not insert at an angle. This photo clearly illustrates the correct angle of the needle as it travels to the center of the testicle. Plunge the syringe very slowly, taking at least 30 seconds per testicle. Plunging the syringe quickly can result in calcium chloride backing up along the needle, possibly causing an abscess. Following injection, pause for a few seconds. 
Then, gently pinch the testicle at the base of the needle until the needle is withdrawn. This helps to ensure safe removal of the needle while avoiding possible leakage of calcium chloride into the scrotum. We recommend a simple interdermal tattoo in the prescrotal flank area on a male dog or on the lower belly on a male cat to identify the animal as having been sterilized. Cautions for the use of calcium chloride. Any calcium chloride that is accidentally injected into the scrotum will result in a serious abscess. 1. The animal must be completely immobilized. Sedation is needed as any movement by the animal could result in calcium chloride being deposited into the scrotum. 2. Draw 0.1 to 0.2 milliliter of calcium chloride over the recommended maximum dose into the syringe. The dose is administered based on a full feeling in the testicle. Up to 10% of canine testicles will require 0.1 to 0.2 milliliter over the maximum dose. It is not desirable to inject the testicle twice. 3. Excessive scrubbing or harsh chemicals may result in irritation of the scrotum and lead to licking. 4. Calcium chloride must be injected slowly so that the dose remains in the center of the testicle. Plunging calcium chloride into the testicle too quickly will cause seepage to back up along the needle. Allow 30 seconds to inject each testicle. Wait for 5 seconds to allow the testicle to accommodate the solution. Allow another 15 to 30 seconds to withdraw the needle. 5. A fresh needle must be used when injecting each testicle, as even a tiny amount of residue on the needle may result in an abscess. 6. Always use Lurlock, not slip-on syringes, as an accidental spray of calcium chloride may cause a serious problem. It is vital that the calcium chloride go into the testicle and not into the scrotum. In our pilot studies, testosterone level was reduced in all cases. However, reduction equaling that of surgical castration using this technique was documented on dogs under 55 pounds, 25 kilograms. Because it is preferable to inject dogs with well-formed testicles and scrotums, avoid puppies under 16 weeks of age. Injections and aftercare must be conducted in accordance with state or province veterinary practice acts and with a veterinary client-patient relationship in place. The animal caregiver must be notified that enlargement of the testicles will occur for up to 10 days. Enlargement should not be accompanied by sensitivity when the testicles are touched or handled, loss of appetite, lethargy, or fever. Any of these signs should be reported to the veterinarian immediately. This video is for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace the veterinary client-patient relationship in any specific animal.